And we all like riding our bikes and recording sweet footy to show our friends, family, lovers, how dope we are. <laughs> oh. I have two cameras, the Hero 11 and the GoPro 360, and I want to know what's the best camera to use when paired with the mouth mount. The mouth mount. Yeah, getting rad, baby. <laughs> so I decided to test this out. I was going on a road trip to Colorado to visit some friends and family, and I brought both the cameras and myself and the bike to Durango, Colorado to find the answers. Oh, flowers. From that little travel montage, there was a couple clips from each camera. If you're just curious about the answer, my personal opinion is the 360 camera. And with the answer out of the way, let's get into the whole test. Oh yeah, made to Overend Mountain Park. We're gonna test out the GoPro Hero 11 on some fun, flowy blue trails up here. Oh, nice flowers. Boom. Test tracks. Let's go. Oh boy. Right line. Try not to use the brake too much. Yeah, dude, Heck that was yeah. so fun. That was nice. I'm gonna go try and ride this ridge. <laughs> All right, we're going Hyperview down the heat map trail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sick. <sighs> what are we laughing? Three, third lap. Trey. Trace. Tray for the day. Star Wars. Gang, gang. Here we go. <laughs> GoPro's on wide. Oh, yeah. Good shit, baby. Yeah. One ride down. <clears throat> These trails were sick. I checked the footy at the river after taking a dip and it's all buggered. We're gonna go for another evening ride here and try again. We're at a trail called Horse Canyon. We're going up. It's hot. We're trying to wait till evening. But Ben's friends want to go now. Oh, yeah. What a fun roller coaster. Oh, Fuck. that was awesome. Good riding. Fuck. Yeah, baby, going to Scott Brewing. Yeah. 
Going to Purgatory for opening day tomorrow at the bike park. See y'all then. Oh, too much. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Oh. You've been out making your way, trying to pay through the rope. Traveling man with your ticket in hand, did you miss me? I hope that I'm looking alright, cause time did its job now. Making everybody look wise, <laughs> even if they're not now. After doing the full test, there's a couple of things that stood out to me. I really enjoy the POV from the mouth mount. I think it's really close to what you're getting from the actual POV of the rider. With the Hero 11, you have to be really precise about where you place the angle. You know, like a little bit too much this way or a little bit too much this way. And like you saw, I was getting sky or too much ground. The other thing is that I shot on Hyperview where I got the best looking footage at the right angle. And Hyperview is too wide. It, the, the footage is just a little distortion-y on the edges and it makes the biking look a little unrealistic. Like it looks like I was going really, really fast. I know I wasn't going that fast. The 360 camera really shines with its ability to have a vertical and horizontal final video after your ride. I like the flexibility of being able to post on multiple things. Really, the only downside with the 360 camera is the post-processing process. You're spending some extra time getting to know your footage. And then if you wanna go back and do the same thing with the vertical, you also have to go back and read the frame for vertical. The only other funny, kind of weird thing about the mouth mount is you have a mouth mount. I mean, we're not winning any beauty awards here, you know? You can get used to the look, I got used to the look, and who cares what other people think, truly. It's hard to cultivate that, but that's my belief. Thank you for joining, really appreciate it. Love you, and uh, happy magic out. I don't have an exit tagline, so if you have any suggestions, stay wizardy.